probably gonna start a fight. I know this can be right. Hey, baby, come on. From a very young age, I always knew that I wanted to be an entertainer. Whether it was singing for my friends and family, being in front of a camera, or performing on stages around the world. I guess I always knew that I wanted to be a star. Say something, I'm giving up on you. I'm sorry that I couldn't get to you. Anywhere I would have followed you. Say something, I'm giving up on you. For me, being an entertainer is about sharing a piece of yourself with the audience. You want to open your heart and tell a story. You want every single person sitting and watching you to go home and think to themselves, I want to hear more about Frankie Chenna. I want to think about that song. I want to be captured in what he presented to me. Give your all to me. I'll give my all to you. You're my end and my beginning. Even when I lose, I'm winning. Cause I give you all of me. I would define my genre as a mix between R&B and soul. My influences include 90s boy bands and the R&B singers of the past like Lionel Richie, Smokey Robinson, Boys to Men. For me, singing should be about the voice. It should be about the whole tone and I think Nowadays, we see a lot of music with auto-tune and all this effects and pizzazz, and I just want to bring it back to telling a story, to using my rich voice and communicating with my audience. Believe when I say that I want it that way. Girl, you need only ask, I'll make love to you like you want me to, and I'll hold you tight. Whenever you watch me perform, you can expect a lot of excitement, a story or two, a lot of smiling, and most importantly, passion. Because every time I step onto a stage, I want to share my whole self with my audience. Whether it's one song or a two hour set, I want to give you the entire Frankie Chenna experience. For every door that closes, knock it down. It was, I, I think I, well, I think I coined it, maybe someone else did, but it came into my mind one day. And it's interesting because I auditioned for X Factor this year in the UK, and I flew out all the way there. I bought, bought a plane ticket and I auditioned, and I made it past the first three rounds, and I felt that I had nailed it, and I was ready to be in England competing. And I got the news on June 11th, the results. But before that, two weeks before that moment, I got a call from England saying they wanted me to fly out um, for a contract to host Mr. World, the competition that you saw me compete in. Of all the contestants, of all the people they could have asked, they asked me. So I'm there, I'm hosting, I'm having the time of my life, and I realize for every door that closes, knock it down, because I didn't get X Factor, I found out on June 11th, so I'm not gonna be competing there. I guess my X Factor journey with Rina and her family was the, the only X Factor journey that I will have. But the point is, the rejection you face in life is, is numerous and it will be forever, but the way that we deal with it, the way we move on from it is so important. I don't mean to be a preacher, I'm sorry, I won't preach anymore in the show, but for every door that closes, knock it down, okay? Thank you. Live your life Don't let any single moment pass you by And not tonight Live your dreams And don't you ever take for granted what they mean Just believe As an entertainer, I'm always looking for more opportunities to showcase my talent, so please contact me through my website, www.frankiechenna.ca, and I look forward to working with you. Mm -hmm.